Here we are on the limestone coast of South Australia at the south end of the Coorong National Park. It's been awesome sleeping and camping in the sand dunes. Today we are going to head south towards the seaside town of Robe. We are heading back out onto Long Beach for an enjoyable drive to 28 mile crossing. Hello. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> camera, what's your camera? Camera one. <laughs> camera one, hello. <laughs> camera two. <laughs> The seaside town of Robe is lovely. The beach is fantastic where you simply drive along in any sort of car till you find your perfect spot to catch some sunshine, have a swim or even walk the dog. Now we're full of driving, eh? Through the bumps. Good morning, Nello. <laughs> Good morning, Marchie. It's only one degree, freezing. Here you go. Camp Nello. Camp Nello. We will survive. Time is ticking. I'm not fading out. We'll light the fire. Just keep breathing. I'll keep it alive. I'll be there to the end. There to the end. Just come along with me, my friend. The sandy tracks heading south from Robe are awesome, winding and darting from the beach and through the coastline vegetation till we spotted these sand dunes. We headed straight towards the highest dune we could see so Daniel could get out his drone.
The coarse sand is a trap and will catch any car. Once you're stuck, you generally go down to the axles. With the max tracks and some winching, we are back on the track again. After arriving at Beachport, we pumped up our tyres and drove on the highway around Riverley Bay towards South End. This sand dune coastline area along Giltwood Beach is amazing and far less frequently used by other four wheel drivers. In the Canoonda National Park, we camped at Oil Rig Square Campground. We virtually camped on top of the old rusty oil well cap from some exploration work years ago. In the morning we attempted a 30 km beach run to Carpenter Rocks. We soon ran into trouble the moment we stopped because we ran out of drivable beach. It then took us two hours to turn around the cars in the soft sand so we could head back to a suitable track so we could get off the beach. We could see the tide rising and the waves getting further up the beach. The last drive along the beach was hair raising to say the least. What, I was watching you in the rear view mirror actually, and there was, yeah, another tight spot, man. That was unbelievable. Man, we're on terra firma now. Yeah. 